Hello everyone, back again with Story Recap. Before we get to storyline, I wish all happy and great day. The film opens with Chris Wilton, the Irish tennis player, who came to London to apply to work with a big team as a coach. He met with the club manager and offered him his experiences and everything he knew about tennis. The club director was actually convinced of this. After that, he went to see the house he would live in in London. He thought the price of the house was very high but the broker told him that these are the prices in London. He agrees to live in this house for his new job. The next day, he goes to the club's training headquarters. The team coach came to him and introduced him to a player from a rich family named Tom. He told him that Tom loves playing tennis and wanted to practice alone and asked him to coach him. Tom actually starts tennis practice with Chris. After training is over, they talk to each other. While talking, Tom finds out that Chris loves opera, so he tells him that tonight he is going to an opera concert and that he is welcome to come with them if he wants. Chris was trying not to disturb them, but Tom convinced him to go with them. Indeed, he decides to go with them. Actually, at night they go together. There, he introduces him to his parents and his sister named Chloe who seemed to have a crush on Chris and tried to get his attention. They watched the show together. Later, we watch Tom thank Chris for the roses he gave his family. And he tells him that his family appreciates these things and will love him very much because of it. Chris told him they were a respectable family and he had a good time with them. Tom told him to come with them on a trip to their country house. Indeed, he agrees to go with them. In the country house, there was a tennis court. Chris and Tom were playing tennis, but Tom felt tired and called his sister to play tennis with Chris. She actually played tennis with him and was happy. He told her that her style of playing tennis was good and that she would need some training and that she would be a professional. After the training ended, they talked and spent some time and agreed to meet again. Again, there were glances of admiration between them. After that, Chris entered the house and met Nola. He told her that she was beautiful and that he had never seen a girl as beautiful as her before. During their conversation, he discovered that she was American and that she worked as an actress, but she was a beginner. Meanwhile, Tom interrupts and we discover that Nola is Tom's fiance. Tom told Chris that Nola was just starting out in the acting world. He also told him that his mother did not approve of his relationship with her, but he was determined to do so because he loved her very much. We see Chris who seems to have fallen in love with her as well. After that, Chris goes on a date with Chloe and they go to the movies. There they confessed their love for each other and their relationship began to develop later. Chloe asks her father to hire Chris to work with him because he is an ambitious and struggling young man who does not want to remain a tennis coach all his life. But the mother objected to that and asked to be patient about it. But Chloe remained adamant until her father agreed to that. After that, she goes to Chris and tells him about it. At first, he told her that he was not interested in working in business, but then he agreed. While they are talking, Tom and Nola enter a restaurant and have dinner together. Chris get to know them, their actions, and their ambitions. After that, Chris goes to the company where he will work. He was welcomed well, and he was happy about that. After that, he returned home and met Chloe, who told him that they should celebrate because of the new job he got. He convinced Chloe to go to the movies with them because he wanted to see Nola. They went to the cinema, but unfortunately for him, Tom came alone. He told them that she was sick and had a migraine and would not be able to come with them. One day, Chris was shopping and by chance he met Nola. When he spoke to her, she told him that she was nervous and had a near nervous breakdown because she had an acting test in 10 minutes and her manager was supposed to meet her and come with her, but he apologized for that. She now has to go alone. So he offered to go with her so she wouldn't be nervous. In fact, she agreed to that and he went with her and was waiting for her. After she came out, it was clear that she was sad. When he asked her, she told him that she did not perform well despite her training at home. He told her that she would succeed if she kept trying. Then he offered her to drink something together to calm down. They actually go and talk. She kept talking about her sister Linda, her beauty, and the roles she takes in movies. He told her that he was sure that she was much more beautiful than her. Then she starts talking about Tom and his family and that Tom's mother does not approve of their relationship. She also asked him about his relationship with Chloe and he told her that their relationship would not work because of her family. But she told him that the family loved him very much and if he tried to marry Chloe, they would not refuse it. The next day, they were all at home and had a good time together. After they finished, they went home. Tom's mother continued to talk to Nola about acting. She told her that she had not achieved anything with it and that she would become old and no one would accept her. This talk made Nola angry so she left the place. She left the house to walk while it was raining. Chris saw her, so he left the house too to catch up with her. He told her that he was worried about her and that she should not go out during the rain. Then moments later, he confessed his love to her 
and she also told him that she loved him. After a while, they were all at an opera. Nola was talking on the phone. Chris came to her and asked her why she was treating him this way and that she had been ignoring him since what happened between them. She told him she felt guilty and she didn't want to do it again. As time passes, Chris moves away from her. One day they met at a party. Tom's mother asked Chris when he would marry her daughter and Chloe felt embarrassed about that. Chloe's father talks to Chris and tells him that he agrees to his marriage to Chloe and that they will be happy about it. In fact, he agrees and marries Chloe. Several days after his wedding, he was training with Tom as usual, but he found that Tom was not training well, so he asked him why. Tom told him that he broke up with Nola because he found another girl from a rich family who would be suitable for him and his family. Indeed, after a while, Tom marries this girl. We see Chris continuing to search for Nola and he became neglectful of his wife, and problems arose between them because Chloe wanted to have her first child. One day at the mall, by chance, he found Nola there. So he went to talk to her, he told her he missed her, and asked her to give him her phone number. Chloe arrives and greets her. Chris was able to get her phone number. After that, we see him and Nola having an affair, and he visits her at her house constantly. One day she called him while he was with Chloe's family. She told him that she was pregnant, and he was surprised by that because he had never imagined this would happen. He asked her to abort the baby, but she refused. Then we see Chloe, who begins to suspect that her husband is cheating on her. She asked him if he hated her because she had not had a child yet, but he told her that he loved her and had never cheated on her. After that, Nola starts following him and calling him. Things seemed to get out of control and he felt like she was threatening him. So he started telling her that he only loves her and does not love his wife. She asked him to divorce his wife and marry her, but he continued to postpone the matter, evade her, and not answer her calls. One day he was surprised by her presence in front of the company where he works. She threatened him that she would tell Chloe, but he was able to calm her down. He went with her to her house and told her that he needed some time to solve all the problems. She told him that she wouldn't wait any longer and that if he didn't tell Chloe, she would do it. He told her that he would solve the problem, but his solution to the problem was not what Nola expected because he went to get the gun and started implementing his plan. First, he came home and told his wife that he had reserved a seat for them in a theatrical performance for tomorrow. She was surprised by this because he had never done it before but he told her that he did it because she loves theatrical performances. Then he called Nola and told her that he wanted to meet her tomorrow after his work finished because he wanted to solve the problem together. After that, he goes to Nola's neighbor's apartment and tells her that he is Nola's friend and asks to come in to see her television and make sure that the noise is not just his. She allowed him to do so, but he entered a room, prepared his gun, and then shot and killed her. He felt remorse and sadness, but he continued with his plan and stole the jewelry in order to prove to the police that it was an ordinary robbery. Then he waited for Nola to arrive, and when she arrived, he shot and killed her. Then he called his wife and told her that he was coming so they could attend the theatrical show together. He started crying because of what he did. He attended the theatrical performance with his wife and was sad. The police begin investigating the case. The investigator believed that the case was a robbery and that the thief killed the old woman because of her resistance to him. They also believed that Nola was on his way, so he killed her as well. The next day, the news spread on the news. Chris was pretending that he was shocked as well, but he took advantage of the opportunity and returned the weapon. Then his wife, Chloe, told him that she was pregnant. Chris is then contacted by the police to investigate him, but before he goes, he throws all the jewelry into the river, but a ring falls to the ground. During the investigation, he denied knowing Nola, but the investigator surprised him when he showed him Nola's diary, which repeatedly contained his name, so there was something linking them. He told him that he was having an affair with her, but he did not want to reveal it because he did not want his married life to be destroyed. He assured the officer that he did not know anything about the murder. After he left, the two investigators began asking questions about Chris's possible involvement in the murder. Detective Mike was suspicious of Chris because he had motives to commit the crime. The second investigator was not convinced by this and requested that they follow the evidence. One day, he saw a vision of Nola who told him that he must prepare to pay the price. He told her he had no choice but to do this. Then the old woman tells him that she was not at fault for that. Detective Mike wakes up dreaming that Chris is the killer. So he went and told the other investigator about it. But the investigator told him that this did not matter because a shooting had occurred in the same area and the person who had done it had been killed and was carrying the ring of the old woman who had been killed. Thus, the case was closed. After a while, 
Chloe gives birth to her baby and the whole family celebrates. Chris was still feeling guilty because he knew he would pay for what he did one day. 